St. Pete Clearwater Red Tide Tracker website showing high concentration warnings at all beaches on the Gulf Coast except for one. And our Malik Rankin found out it's not just impacting beaches. Red Tide's problems are seeping into St. Pete's downtown. Red tide cleanup efforts have spanned weeks in St. Petersburg and there's still dead fish to be found. People that live here tell me if it weren't for those cleanup efforts, this area would be unbearable. No, I was no, I would not come down here and run if they had not cleaned up. I mean, it was pretty bad. Jeff Waite and his wife Michelle moved back to St. Pete a few weeks ago, just in time for the stench of dead sea life to reroute his running trail. It was a little uncomfortable running down here. You know, I wouldn't run necessarily along the side of the water. I mean, you could definitely feel it. Uh, it would affect your nose, affect your breathing. Uh, wasn't a very pleasant smell. Crews continued cleanup efforts along Bayshore Drive Sunday morning, scooping dead fish after dead fish from the water. But right now, it looks really good compared to where, what it was uh, a couple of days ago and even a week ago. The weights tell me the crews have been out here every day. It's been amazing. And it's made all the difference in their daily running route. Just a little bit of relief there. Well, if you're planning to enjoy a day on the beach, we have the tools you need to plan your trip on 10tampabay.com. Meteorologist Rick Kirby joining us now with the first look at weather. Rick, you also get daily updates about red yeah. tide. Yeah, it's not a great update. You know, we, we did this last Sunday as well, and there was a lot more reported over the last eight days, and you see all of the dots there. So the yellow would be the lower levels, the orange is medium, and the red is high, and you can see a lot of red. We'll go all the way down to Venice, the southern part of our Tampa Bay viewing area, and high to medium levels around Venice. We go up to Sarasota County here, uh, continue through Sarasota County, places like Siesta Key, Longbow Key, medium to high levels here as well. A little farther to the north. Uh, Manatee County doing a little better, at least around Anna Maria Island. Uh, I was there a couple of nights ago and didn't have any issues there yet, so hopefully that will be the case that continues. Uh, but Fort DeSoto, medium to high levels. Now we get to Tierra Verde, Paso Grill, again, medium to high levels around Boca Ciega, medium levels there, low to medium levels. And then a little farther to the north, again, it's medium to high levels all the way up to Clearwater and Clearwater Beach. Now here is uh, uh, Tampa Bay, Hillsborough Bay, you see downtown Tampa not doing too bad, but look at this. There's downtown St. Pete, high levels, and that goes all the way down to the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. It is not uh, a pretty sight in many locations. 